your, your rear reverse lights are supposed to strobe? I'm sorry? Like your rear reverse lights are supposed to strobe? My rear view, rear reverse lights? Yeah. They're supposed to? Uh, you got one that's strobe and one that's not. It's oh, they're, yeah, it's messing up. Just, yeah, there's a little error back there or something. You know. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the, okay, so I told her, I said, listen, man, I said, um, yeah, can I talk to the prosecutor? Can I talk to the defense attorney then and just let him know what I know? She goes, Mr. Brown, if you don't leave this building right now, I'm going to have you arrested. Do you understand? Say one more word and I'm going to have you arrested. I was like, hmm. Protecting families from behind bars will be how hard? Mm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Impossible. I literally had to shut up and walk out of that building knowing those girls are going to prison. And I feel terrible to this day. These are good girls. They were like educated, intelligent. They didn't want to fight. They wanted problems. But they knew they had to bring a knife in order to survive. And they were right. That, that crowd would have burnt, would have, would have murdered them. They were really pretty, and that's why they were being beaten. Yeah, the big girls would look like dudes, and they were very angry that these girls existed. And um, the police officers just, I guess that was going to be a cute cat fight, and they're going to be able to see some naked girls or something when their clothes get ripped off. That's what they're hoping for. I think that's kind of what happened. <laughs> and uh, then um, it turned out to be worse than they thought when the girls' faces started coming off. So that's why when I when I hear those stories and police and I go and I was there in those sto I was there during those stories, right? And then I hear from police officers about you know different things. Like it's like I don't know if I can believe that because I've been there. You know what I'm saying? I saw I saw in different jurisdictions now. This is Detroit. I've seen them lying and and it's not called lying. They're being mendacious. mendacious. Yeah, it means lying. <laughs> Just a better word, mendacity. They're being mendacious. That's just their, it's, a it's the nature of how they. When's the last time you heard him say, "Well, I apologize. We made a mistake." So I think they can't. So that's what they don't. So you know, uh, and this is good because I the the thing that you're talking about that you hear me talking about clearly, you know, I didn't think of this stuff right now, right? Yeah, this is this is stuff I think about all the time for many years. So this is just one more way of me getting it out, mm -hmm. and uh, I plan to write a book about it when I don't live here. <laughs> yeah, I'll be I'll be telling all the stories, mm -hmm. and they're horrible, and yeah. like that one. That's horrible. Think about it. someone's daughter, man. What if that was your sister? Well, this is my yeah. sister, home from college. Now she has to, she has to go to she has to go to prison. Mm -hmm. um, we saw this girl take a truck and slam into a, a slam into another girl into a fence. The fence gave way. Her body bounced off the fence. And back to the truck and she was like, bitch, something, something. And then the girl was like, I'll fight you. I don't care. And she, she bounced off the truck, came off the truck, hit the fence, came off the fence, was like, I'll still fight you. Get out of the truck. And um, her little brother got out of a car, set a nightclub. Apparently she's from, I think, Michigan State University. She's home for the weekend. She takes her brother by the nightclub. He's little, he's like 12, he can't go in, so they're not going in, they're just driving by the hot spot, right? It's downtown Renaissance, near the Renaissance Center, downtown Detroit. So it's right by the water, it's, you know, downtown, so they're from Southfield, so as I remember it. And um, so she's gonna take her little brother downtown to see Detroit, see the inner city, you know, and uh, and gets caught in this traffic jam where there's a some kind of altercation over the traffic, and you know, something, something, and that's when the girl's like, you know, get out of the car. And then, so the girl got out of the car. Mm -hmm. And um, that's when she hit her with the truck. Yeah. And so we got out, I got out of my truck and I said, I came, I came over towards her. And before I could do anything, this guy had grabbed this kid, the 12 year, no, I'm sorry. The girl jumped out of the truck, grabbed the kid, the woman in the red truck. It's a red truck, like F-150, grabs the 12 year old kid lifts him off the ground he's crying and screaming right leave me alone leave me alone she's like that's my brother and two guys jumped out of a car rushed that girl that hit off the fence and smashed her into the fence right so as i get out of my car there's a little bit of distance we're, we're converging now my team members are converging so all this is happening in that in that as we're converging onto them and as we converge the girl sees me coming leaves the boy jumps in her truck and i said don't move the truck 
and I went to go after these guys, right? Because they slammed the girl. And as I get close to them, they take off running, right? She takes off in the truck and shoots down the sidewalk. Police catch her down the street. Why didn't they arrest her? Mm -hmm. Huh? One of them likes being with her. She's a police officer. Oh, man. Yeah. This police officer hit a woman with a car and had two, and then attacked a 12-year-old boy. Then had two guys attack the girl. She's like, "Get that bitch! Get that bitch!" These these drug dealers or thugs or whatever were her brothers or cousins or something or you know whatever they are, but they are definitely illegal types. Jumped out and attacked the girl. This is in the middle of a traffic jam. Then she drives on the sidewalk to get out of the traffic jam in a truck. Police catch her at the end of the block and let her go. Because she badged him. So, 